Look at that, level 43 on Prestige 1. For someone like me, who hasn't played Call of Duty in a long time, this double XP weekend's been absolutely fantastic. Bought the game on the PlayStation, primarily because my PC can't run it. If I try and play this on my PC, oh my god. My PC would explode. Quite literally, actually. It's, it's tried it before. So I've been playing the game since the weekend after it released. I was too busy on the weekend to play it on release. So this is the second weekend now that it's been out. And I've got to admit, I am pretty addicted. Even playing Nuketown on double XP is so, it's just pulling me in all the time. And I want to play zombies as well. I really like the zombies. The zombies is really good. But I'm so hooked on the multiplayer as well. I can't choose between the both. I love the prestige system. It's just fantastic. I'm glad they brought back get to level 55 and then prestige again. I've got to get used to this gun. Oh, sugar. I, I didn't like... Last Call of Duty I played was Modern Warfare 3. I did not like that. Where you had to... Had to get to that level 255 or whatever it were. Yeah, we get to the, like, level 255 and then you gotta wait for them to increase the level count. But I just didn't like that. I like the prestige system. Apparently a lot of the young guns aren't liking it. I don't understand why, maybe it's just because they're not used to it. I suppose it is a little bit different to them and if I was younger and it were new to me, I'd be a bit sceptical of it. Ooh. I'm currently trying to get the gold on the S this little gun here, marksman rifle thing. I'm not a big fan of them, personally. But that leads me into the camo grind as well. The camo grind on this game is absolutely fantastic as well. All you have to do is get headshots, do two funky challenges, you get two special camos, then you get your gold. It's great. Whereas in Modern Warfare 3, you had to freaking do stupid challenges for every camo. It was ridiculous. I did enjoy it. I did it! I did enjoy it. So I am enjoying it. I think this will be the first game where I... Well, I won't say the first game where I try hard for the camos, because I tried hard in Modern Warfare 3. But it'll be one that I actually try and take quite seriously. Oh my god. Oh my days, I'm a legend. What can I tell you? No, no, no. Two more people! Yeah, I feel like the camo grind is great. I feel like it's quite easy for a lot of the tryhards. You know, the people who like play the game 24-7, who have already got like all camos unlocked. But for someone who's a bit more casual like me, I say casual, it's a lot better anyway. And the gameplay is so smooth at all. He, I swear I shot him in the head, but he, he just slugs me with a shotgun. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to future updates on the game. I'll be intrigued to see what happens with Warzone. I know that a lot of people are probably waiting for that. Untested. Oh my god, I'm surprised he didn't turn on me. On the topic of Nuketown, I'm not going to lie, I love it. And I haven't loved it for a long time. The different incarnations, incarnations, incarnations of it. Inca what the hell is an incarnation? I've not really enjoyed like when they made it. I know this is gonna be controversial, but when they made it futuristic eh? and the wall running, I didn't like that. That worked for me. Someone who weren't very good at the games. Oh my god, it was not a nice time. I like this classic feel to it. It's not quite Black Ops One feel, but it is close. The one problem I do have with this game is the maps in the base game. You know, non-Nuketown maps basically. There's only like, I don't know if I even know the names of them that well, but they all seem a bit unbalanced. Or there's just bad spawns in them, or they're just a bit crap. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't really like the maps. I, I hope they, and I know this is another controversial take, but I hope they remake some of Black Ops 1 maps and bring them back onto this game. I know people are a bit sick of them doing that, but I feel like those maps work. Or maybe that's just nostalgia. Maybe it's just nostalgia talking. The reason I say that about the maps and all is if you look at your average players, a lot of them aren't really getting kill streaks. Now I know kill streaks are for people that get kills. And maybe it's just a skill issue. But for someone like me, I get one or two kills, then I die. One or two kills, then I die. And that's just the same throughout every single map. Maybe it's because I'm a bad player. My KD is at like 1. 1. 1.36-ish, around that kind of threshold. So I'm not negative. We're in their spawn now, but we're taking their C flag, which is not good. Ooh. 
He weren't happy about that. <laughs> I tagged him as he ran past and he was like, no, nah, that's not going down. This is one of my favourite kill streaks, by the way. This little missile. It's no good for objectives. If you can't get to an objective in time, you just send a freaking missile towards them. Ah, oh, someone killed him if I had a chance. But no, I am really enjoying this game and it's something that I picked up and I picked it up on the PlayStation 5 disc version because I was planning on returning it a week later if I didn't like it. I don't think I'll be returning it. I think I'm definitely going to be keeping it. Ooh. I came first. 39, 17. See, I'm that much fun on it. I didn't even realise I'll pop it off a little bit. I know, I know, 19 deaths is not good. But ah, are you enjoying it? Let me know.